Uh, hello guys, got a, a slightly interesting video for, for you today. So this video is going to be basically about using roads um, to spawn positions, uh, to get spawn positions for vehicles and such. So I'm going to show you my script now. When we load into the editor, I then call the radio trigger. You'll see on the map all the road positions will be marked. So this gives you an idea of the possible spawn points. You can also see that we've got some vehicles. If we teleport to one of these vehicles, we can have a look at them. So, as you can see, it's spawned on the road. It's pushed slightly to the side. And the direction is also facing the road. This is probably a better example. Um, because this one spawned on a straight bit of road. So, it looks quite good. So, this basically creates spawned parked vehicles automatically and you know it stops them exploding when they spawn which is always a plus <laughs> so let's have a look what's actually going on this, in the script well first to get the script we've got our marker we're using this to get uh, road positions around this marker and we have our trigger which calls our script and sends the marker into the script so here as you'd expect, we have marker equals this select zero, gets our marker, we get the position from our marker, and we can set the number of cars that are spawned. Now this is where it gets interesting. We use the command near roads with our position of the marker um, to get all the nearer roads in 100 meters. These roads are then placed into this road list array. And here we have a simple command that shows the roads or creates a marker on each bit of road. So this is this creates the dots that we saw on each road a second ago. We're gonna turn this off. Um, so in future we won't see these markers. Here we have a little function that simply removes a road from the road list if it's on a crossroads. So we're doing this by getting the amount of roads that is connected to each road segment. And if it has more than two roads connected to it, then most likely it's a crossroads and it will cause a buggy spawn. So because of this, we're going to remove it from our road list array. Next, we shuffle our road list. This randomizes it, um, makes each spawn different. And then finally we get to our to our spawning loop. This uses a four command. So from one to four, because we set four as our car spawned, we're gonna run this loop four times. So we're gonna get a unique road from our road list using the I, because remember with four every time it runs through a loop, it adds one to I. So this is effectively saying 1, 2, 3, 4 every time it's called. So it's selecting a different road from our road list. I hope that makes sense. Um, next we're getting our, the roads connected to our current road. This is simply to get our, our direction for the vehicle. Um, our direction is calculated using the biz function and it's using our current road where the vehicle spawned and the road next to it to get the direction of the road and then it's set, set here after creating our vehicle which is spawned on our road uh, then we offset the vehicle slightly to the left using this so it's four meters to the left and then finally we create a marker um, on top of our you know, road. So let's have another look at this script in action. So spawn in, call our radio, and remember I turned off the show roads, so now we only see the vehicles spawned, and let's have a look at them. As you can see, they're facing the right direction, and they're slightly off, off center, so they're not right in the middle of the road, they're 4 meters to the left. And this should be the same for all of them. So, 
I hope you find this video useful. Remember to like or subscribe, and I will see you next time.